Hey survivors and thrivers. In this video I'm going to be explaining gang stalking and discussing the footage from the last two videos. I have updated the video descriptions on both videos where I have clearly described what to look for so please check that out. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsrivercoaching at gmail.com. Understanding Gang Stalking I have been reading through the comments from the gang stalking footage of the last two videos. Some of you can see what is going on. You can see that this is about extreme control, intimidation and isolation. Others do not see what is happening. Some viewers have commented that there is no gang stalking in these videos and that I'm paranoid. These comments were very invalidating, but I can understand that some of you do not see what I see. The reason for this is because the gang stalking is designed to affect me, not you. I am the target. You are an outside observer so you may not see it the way that I do. Some of the comments were quite offensive, with some viewers saying that I need meds or I am overworked and need to take a week off. I think there may be some confusion here. This is not something I am only experiencing recently. I have experienced gang stalking 24 hours a day for over four and a half years. This is nothing new. Everyone in my environment is a gang stalker. If there is someone who is not aware of the gang stalking, they will be contacted and then they will know about it. So everyone you see in those two videos are gang stalkers. They are following me, they are watching me, and they are harassing me in various different ways. It started off in the workplace around four and a half years ago. The co-workers there were always watching me and indirectly talking about me. There was one woman who was clearly very bitter and resentful towards me. At the same time, it seemed as though she was trying to prove herself to me. She said something about seeing what she looks like when she goes out at night as though she could tell that I was not physically attracted to her in work. She later made hints about a dance class and how she would start talking about me there. From that point on, I noticed people would start following me around, people who I didn't even know. I believe that they were envious of me. I come from a wealthy family and I was living in a big house at the time. I had a Facebook page with 5,000 friends and over 10,000 followers. Some of my friends convinced me to post pictures of the house and my father's cars. I also took topless pictures of myself. I was young and didn't really know what I was doing. Who would have thought that all of this gang stalking would come from that? The co-workers were fully aware of the Facebook page and had likely seen all of the pictures.
The topless pictures of me had thousands of likes from women in the area. So from an outsider's point of view, looking at that Facebook page, it would appear as though I had it all. Big house, cars, beautiful women. I was living the dream. Of course, that was far from the truth. In reality, I was severely depressed, drinking alcohol several nights a week and even doing drugs. But to anyone that saw that page, it looked like I was living a good life. And this made everyone in my area very envious of me. And it got a lot worse once that co-worker decided to create a smear campaign. While I was in a relationship with the ex-narcissist, these gang stalkers would follow us around everywhere on bicycles. I remember one time we were sitting on a bench on the beach and she saw them and quietly she said, they're crazy. I was happy that she could see what I was seeing. But at the same time, I knew that she would never openly discuss this. She revealed a lot of information to me regarding the gang stalkers. She claimed to have an app on her phone which gave her access to me at all times. She claimed that there are surveillance cameras in every room of my apartment. I was living in a different apartment back then. That was over three years ago. I now know that this is completely true and even in the apartment that I am living now there are surveillance cameras in every room. The gang stalkers observe and study me 24 hours a day and have done so for over four and a half years. As well as this they are also tracking the GPS on my phone so they can follow me around wherever I go. then everyone in the area can be notified. This is a full-time hobby for them and something that they have been engaging in for over four and a half years. So it has probably become an addiction. I also experienced noise campaigns. For over three years, there has been constant loud banging on the floor in the apartment above. Even as I am recording my videos, the banging is directly above my head. It follows me around the apartment, whatever room I am in. Which proves that the gang stalker in the apartment above also has access to the surveillance cameras. There is also constant banging outside where people slam their car doors or they start shouting or indirectly talking about me outside my window. They also drive up and down in modified cars which can be very loud. And this is something that I've experienced for over four and a half years. The people you see in those two videos are all gang stalkers. They are all following me around and harassing me. They have access to an application on their phones which displays live surveillance of every room in my apartment, including the bathrooms. They observe and study me every day. They watch me use the toilet, shower and bath. They have suggested many times that they have watched me having sex with a narcissist in my bed as well as one other girl. They probably even watch me going to sleep at night.
when I go to sleep, I have to use a speaker with meditation music on full blast, as well as well as earphones with more meditation music. Otherwise, there would be gang stalking me throughout the night and constantly waking me up. Sometimes the speaker will lose its connection or the earphones will run out of battery and then they get the opportunity to wake me up. So my sleeping routine is almost out of my control and has been for over four and a half years. As well as having access to hidden surveillance cameras in every room of my apartment, I believe that the gang stalkers also have access to the CCTV around the city. It's clear that they always know where I am and they always know where I am going to be before I get there. I believe that they access the CCTV through Wi-Fi via an app on their phones. This is a gang stalking criminal network. Every day for over four and a half years, the gang stalkers wait for me outside to leave my home. They used to follow behind me, but now they don't do that that much. I'm not sure if it's because of shame or because they think I look down on them or see them as less than me for creeping up behind me. But recently they have started walking in front of me. They will even increase their walking pace or start jogging just to get in front of me. Then it appears as though I am the one stalking them. They want me to feel shameful and embarrassed as they probably felt when they were creeping behind me. Wherever I go, they will be waiting outside. Sometimes they will even come inside and start making noise or trying to distract me from whatever I'm doing. This is a constant 24 activity for them and has been for over four and a half years. When I first started to experience all of this, I couldn't understand what was going on. I then discovered gang stalking and it was very similar to what I was experiencing. Although I didn't notice anything to do with coloured clothing or cars. But then I started researching the colour coding and suddenly they started doing it. Remember they have access to all of this on an app on their phones. So they are observing whatever I am researching and then using it against me. They have always displayed different kinds of scenarios. I have seen men with girls maybe under five years old. There was one man taking off his shirt and putting his arm around a girl who was very young. And then another time outside my apartment block, police were walking past. And as I went in the elevator, there was a man with a very young child. They also display men with teenage girls a lot. White men with Muslim w women. It's all very strange behaviour, but I believe it is designed to hurt me somehow. They engage in this behaviour because it is exciting to them. 
It gives their lives purpose or meaning. It gives them a little high, makes them feel alive by stalking and harassing someone who doesn't know what they are doing. They are also envious and jealous of the target. They are envious of the target's happiness and contentment and jealous of anyone the target could potentially come into contact with if they didn't intervene. They want to isolate the target. They want to take away their happiness and contentment. This behavior is linked to narcissism. They cannot be happy if you are happy. They are always comparing themselves and their lives to yours. I have updated the video descriptions of both of the gang stalking videos. This should help you to ide identify exactly what is happening. Please let me know what you think in the comments and if I have explained this clearly enough. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.